This is called stress strain diagram. On this graph, the horizontal axis represents strain, how much the material deforms. The vertical axis shows stress, the internal resistance the material develops. As we gradually increase the applied load, tracing the stress and the resulting strain gives us a curve that reveals the material's behavior. Right at the beginning of the graph, we see a straight line. This is known as the elastic region and it is where the Hooke's law applies. Stress is directly proportional to the strain. If we remove the external force while the material is in this region, it will spring back completely to its original shape with no permanent deformation. The slope of this line gives us the modulus of elasticity or a Young's modulus. If the slope of this line is higher, means it's steeper, we get higher value of Young's modulus. A steeper line shows that even a large increase in the stress results in only a small amount of strain. This tells us the material is strong or stiff. It resists a deformation strongly in the elastic region. Conversely, a gentle slope means a lower Young's modulus. This indicates that even a slight increase in the stress causes a much larger strain or deformation. That means these materials are more flexible or less stiff. Hence the value of a Young's modulus tells us about the property of the material that how stiff or flexible it is. The larger the value of E, the harder it is to stretch or compress the material. Now in our stress stream graph, the point where the straight line 